afternoon cactus people something a little bit different today uh, we have here two trays of um, or half trays of peanut cactus that um, I planted a couple of years ago and I haven't got around to um, potting them up and I don't think I'm going to have time to do them individually at the moment so I've got too many other things on so I thought I'd put them all into one planter to save time uh, plus they're coming up, they've got a few flower buds on them so they might well be flowering shortly. Now this is um, a planter I made a couple of years ago. All it is, it is a polystyrene fish box like this with the rim cut off, some holes drilled in the, the bottom. You can see underneath there it still looks the same. And, and then painted black. Uh, I used some old um, stain varnish that I had in the shed. I tried a little bit first to make sure it wasn't going to dissolve the um, polystyrene, which is never a good thing. So that's it. It's quite an effective looking planter. Let's get this out of the picture. And what I did find was once this was full of grit and gravel, uh, gravel and compost last, last time I used it, it was very heavy and it's obviously being polystyrene it's not an easy thing to move without breaking it so what i thought i'd do this time is i don't need a great depth to it is use these off cuts of polystyrene that i've been using somewhere else uh, i'm going to fit these in if i fit <coughs> and basically use those as a base it still drains it's still Going to get the water still going to get down the holes there and then use a much lighter weight compost all this is is um leaf mold compost 50 50 and then a lot of perlite so it's a nice lightweight um compost for it and I'll pause the video there okay so i cut the boring bit out and i filled the uh, Tray up with compost, just about the right amount in there, and I'm just going to split the first tray up. And, uh, clean up cactus, a little bit prickly, but not too bad. You can handle them fine. And yeah, there looks like to be about 12 individual plants here. Try and break those into. Individuals leaving the roots intact as much as possible. I say, I think I planted these two years ago. They certainly look like they've been there for a good season. And the peanut cactus, once they get going, they do spread sideways and will happily fill a pot. So they should do quite well in this. Basically, space them out so they've got room to grow. Uh, three across seems fine. And this is probably a lot quicker than filling individual pots. Okay, so, I've got plenty of other things I should be getting on with at the moment. Things like uh, finishing off new sheds, putting up a new polytunnel, growing tomatoes, growing all sorts of veg this year, which we weren't doing last year. Uh, now that looks reasonably fine, but I want a quick, to, quick effect on this, so I will use the other tray as well, or at least some of them out of the other tray. Not sure, this may have been in here a bit longer. well established plants actually they'll make good corners so just I'm taking the corners and putting them in the bigger corners in the new corners I've not done a planting quite this big before. So 
Yeah, this is a, a bit of an experiment for me. Interesting to see how it turns out. Some good roots on these. Believe it or not, I got all of my peanut cactus from one plant that I found in a skip probably nearly ten years ago when my friend and I were doing a bit of house clearance. I've been looking for some uh, other cactus and serendipity presented these ones and some uh, Mammillaria gracilis at the same time. There we go, there's a, a few small bits in there I'll put in between in, in, a mean, in, a, in a minute. But that was the idea. Now comes the moment of truth. Let's pick it up. See, oh, there is no weight to that whatsoever. That is absolutely brilliant. Uh, last time I had this with cactus in, I needed a board underneath to um, pick it up and move it. Uh, this is absolutely brilliant. That's probably only only about a kilo two at the maximum I would think so that's brilliant um, I'll, uh, I'll do a few shots when they've spread and come into flower and it uh, should look nice by then it's now it's the end of April so hopefully these will be flowering in about three weeks okay that's it for today thank you for watching everyone